comes to the classroom, Richard Curtis. Hit him with that snake. I didn't just learn that right now. Nice job, guys. You ready to do this? I'm feeling the love over here. Teachers, good to see you guys. You feeling up to them? Yeah, I know. They're good students. Hey, guys, today, I cannot believe they're here. Like, the three best of all time. That's at least what Cody said. And the teachers over here from Constitution High School in Center City, Philadelphia. They just entered the classroom that showed the pitch students against their favorite teachers. Hey, I am so excited to say this because they have been loud. Look at this cheering section. It's winner take all in the cash and bragging rights. Before we even meet our contestants, I have to see who studied. It's time for a pop quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. I'm feeling the vibes right now. I'm so excited to get this game going today. Everyone has buzzers in hand. Let's play, everybody. What is the name of the friendly ghost that stars in his own 1995 feature film, Mr. Flannelly? Casper. Casper is right. What is six multiplied by eight? Cody. 32. Mr. Sign. 48. 48 is right, Cody. Take a deep breath. Yeah. And he's back. What Colorado NHL team is named after a natural disaster, Mr. Sign? The Avalanche. The Avalanche is right. Hercule Perot and Miss Marple are the creation of what famous crime novelist? Hercule Perot. Answer, Agatha Christie. At, after a petition, what Nickelodeon cartoon had a brief appearance in the 2019 Super Bowl halftime show? Mr. Signs. SpongeBob. SpongeBob is right. What European city was famously divided by a wall from 1961 to 1989, Mr. Flannelly? Uh, Berlin. Berlin is right. Students, you want to be quicker on the buzzers here. This is going to be a runaway. You guys get this. Extra credit question. In physics and chemistry, fission, fusion, decay, and transmutation are four examples of what kind of reaction? Mr. Flannelly. A nuclear. Nuclear reaction. What annual address is given at the beginning of the year by the U.S. President to a joint session on Congress? Mrs. Thompson. The State of the Union. State of the Union address. Students, I feel like this could be you right here. <laughs> what element is commonly found in Earth's air and water and is abbreviated on the periodic table as O? Cody. Oxygen. Bam, baby, I called it. <laughs> what revolutionary was caught trying to blow up the British Parliament in 1605? Cody again. James Brown. Teachers for the Steel. Miss Thompson. Guy Fox. Guy Fox is right, and that'll do it for Pop Quiz. All right, everybody. Wow. Teachers have exploded 90 points out of the gate. Students with 10. And look, they're feeling excited out there. We're off to a great start. They have a lot of show to catch up, so that's the good news. Hey, we have students and teachers from Constitution High School in Center City, Philadelphia. It's the home of the generals. That's what they like to call it. What do you say we meet our teams? Hi, guys. It's Teresa here, and I'm a sophomore. And it's written in our Constitution that we're going to win this game. Hello, I am Cody, a junior in high school, and my variety of knowledge will help this team win the game. Hi, world. I'm Aaliyah Braziac, a.k.a. Aaliyah Brainiac. I am a 10th grader, and all I have to say is that the teachers are going to lose, period. Hi, I'm Miranda Thompson. I teach art, and I'm a founding faculty member, so I know that the teachers have this. Hi, I'm Mr. Sines. I teach Algebra 2 and AP Calculus, and I know we're facing some tough competition because they've had such great teachers. Hi, my name is David Flannelly. I'm a computer science and chemistry teacher at Constitution, and I tell you a chemistry joke, but all the good ones are gone. Okay, how about those teachers, how about those students? Mr. Flannelly, it was good to see you make that Argon joke. I heard the way you teach, it's more like boron. <laughs> Come on, he's on fire. <laughs> that was a bad joke. All right, let's send somebody to detention. I think I might go myself. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All right, I'm going to start with the trailing team. Here we go. It's time to play some detention. Category is television. 
We're going to play? Yeah. What TV series follows a Taiwanese family in the 90s after they make their way from Chinatown in Washington, D.C. to Orlando to open a cowboy-themed steakhouse? You guys can talk about it. Fresh off the boat. Fresh off the boat. It's going to get you a fresh teacher in detention. Cody, did I just see a little shoulder shake right there? You got excited. I yeah. loved it. All right, guys, who's it going to be? We got a lot of teachers over here. All of them are very intelligent. Mr. Flannelly? We're going to send Mr. Flannelly, our chemistry teacher. He's like, Quick departure there. I loved it. You got in there nice and quick. You enjoy yourself <laughs> over in detention as we move over to teachers. Our category is government. Yeah. Oh, what is the full name of the first woman to serve on the Supreme Court? Sandra Day O'Connor. Absolutely. Nicely done. They strike fast. Now we have Teresa Cody or Leah. Who's that going to be? You're a captain. Cody. Okay. <laughs> 11th grader, our history major over there. He loves it. And he goes to detention. Okay, students, back to you. Anatomy is your category. <laughs> We're going to pass. <laughs> Good luck, guys. What is the name of the largest artery in the human body? The aorta. The aorta. The aorta. Teachers, yeah. the past came back to haunt you, and you guys knew it as soon as you passed. You were like, no! <laughs> Tough one here. Teachers, you got it right, so who's it going to be? Bye, Aaliyah. Oh. Aaliyah is next in detention. She moves out. Fun fact, she's in 10th grade. She's doing a great job. Beat out all the seniors to get on the show. Nicely done. Here we go, teachers. This is yours. Category is food. You can take it, or if you want to put the pressure on Teresa, say prove it with food. Play. We want to play. You're going to play. Here you go. In restaurants, what type of cheese is typically shaped into sticks, dipped in breadcrumbs, fried, and served with marinara sauce as an appetizer? Mozzarella. Mozzarella is going to get you the round. Get you up to 130. Teresa, you go to detention. Mr. Glail, you're out of there. And the teachers celebrate because they're up to 130 points. Now, a lot of games still left to be played, so we're going to regroup. We're going to pull out the easels because art class is next. It's the students and teachers from Constitution High School in Center City, Philadelphia. You might have heard them before. They walked down the street. What do you guys do? It never stops, and I love it. It's so good. Hey, we got a big game on our hands. You guys ready to see who wins this thing? Let's go. Our class is next. It's going to be stuck in your head. C-H-S, Jenner Bowles. Did I get that pretty good? That was close. All right, each team selected one player to draw. The trailing team's going to go first. So we have the students up here. They're just trailing by a bit here. The artist is going to select a word. So you're going to get ready. And it's going to be a word or a phrase hidden on the inside. You're going to have five seconds to draw. That's super quick. So make sure you go fast here. Then your teammates are going to have 10 seconds to talk about it make one guess. Correct the answer the first round. 30 points for you guys. If you don't get it right, I'm going to give you a few more chances. But the points are going to decrease. So here we go. Leah, which one are you going to go with? Red. You're going to go with red. You stand back here. Open that card. I'm going to uncap your pen here as you get ready. All right. How do you feel about that? Pretty good. All right. Your time starts right now. Teresa, I'm going to be honest. This is a tough one. <laughs> so we'll see how well uh, she and Arda, do you think? Stop right yeah. there. Let's look at it together. Oh. Did you say zip line? Yeah. Okay. Zip lining. That is an unbelievable drawing in five seconds. You might be the best drawler in five seconds I have ever seen in my life. 30 points gets added to your score, gets you up to 40. We're going to switch. We're going to bring Miss Thompson out here now. We're going to give her the blue card. That was fantastic. 
I taught her. <laughs> Here, how cool is this? We don't never had this before. An actual art teacher in art class getting ready to draw. Oh, it's a lot of pressure. Do you have the card open? Did you see your word yet? No, I did not. You're so excited. We're gonna I'm open so, that card up. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's your word. Yeah, I'll take the uh, card. Five seconds. Go start, ahead. Does it start now? Yep. This makes me so happy. Okay, stop. Wow. What are we looking at? Squirrel. 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 Of course the art teacher did it the first try. Okay. I'm giving you props. Come here, Miss Thompson. I got to say, come here. When she got it right, you said what? She got hers right on the first drawing, you said? I taught her. Yeah, I taught her, and that is what I'm talking about. You are just as good, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna add some extra credit before we go to break. All right, I'm gonna ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answer. A correct answer here is 10 points. Here it is. What European country is home to the real life castle, believed to be Walt Disney's inspiration for Sleeping Beauty's castle? Do you know the answer? If you're a big Disney fan, you might know it. We're gonna have it for you when we come back. Art class, girlfriend, you killed it. Excellent artist. I'm sounds really good and they're really happy because we got a good game in our hands here the art class was awesome they're from constitution high school in center city philadelphia before the break we asked them this extra credit question to add on to their scores what european country is home to the real life castle believed to be walt disney's inspiration for sleeping beauty's castle let's see if we have any super fans on our hands students you said germany germany is right okay gets you to 50 points Teachers, you said... We went with Austria. We already know the incorrect, but great guess there. Now, students, good for you guys. You're crawling back in this thing. Let's get it within 100 here before final exam. So $500 is on the line. You guys, if you win it, this is cool. You get to tell where, where are we going to put it. Student activities. Nice. Anything in particular we're going to do with it? Uh, a pH system. Oh, all right, nice. So we can hear everybody. That's yeah. huge. All right, well, good luck, students. And teachers, where your 500 be going? We would be purchasing a new yearbook camera to capture all these beautiful faces. I'm telling you, that's a great idea. Good, a good choice of get a nice camera, make it nice HD. All right, well, good luck. That's where they're going. Guys, how well do you sing? Hopefully really well, because music class is next. All right, grab your buzzers. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. We'll see how well you guys sing. I'm going to ask a question, then Mike Jarek from Fox 39's Good Day Philadelphia will read a small portion of the lyrics. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify that song or artist is going to win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect. A member of the other side is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal the points. So be careful. Here we go. Let's do it with this question. What group performed these lyrics in a 2014 song? Mike Jarek. How you doing? All right, for this first one, I have a medical issue. Here we go. <clears throat> if you could take my pulse right now, it would feel just like a sledgehammer. If you could feel my heartbeat now, it would hit you like a sledgehammer. First one in is Leah, you say? Fifth Harmony. Fifth Harmony nice. Sledgehammer, yeah! I love the way you said that with a smile on your house and you had a little jump in the step too, so nicely done. Hey, here's your second question in music class. What male performer raps these lyrics in a 2019 song? Mike, take it away. Oh, this next one is so true. Here we go. No cure for the IG disease. No cure. Do anything for clout, anything. They do anything for clout, anything. Great job, Mike. First one in, Teresa. Offset. Offset, nice. yeah! <laughs> You're within 100, guys. That is huge. That is huge. Try to stay there with this final question. What female performer co-wrote and sings these lyrics in a 2018 collaboration? Mike, you're going to really enjoy this one. Are you ready for number three? Mm -hmm. One kiss is all it takes. Fallen in love with me. <laughs> Possibilities. I look like all you need. 
Good job, Mike. Aaliyah first one in. Do a Lipa. Do a Lipa. One kiss. Yes. Nice. Big thanks to Mike Jericho. I'm pretty sure I just fell in love with with that performance. Hey, scores. Teachers 160. Well done. Students, you just swept the round in music class. Get you up to 80 points, and that is huge because now you're only one question away for jumping back into this game. Now, the topic of today's final exam, we're gonna get to that in a second, but we're gonna shut this down. Put your books away, under your seats. There's no cheating this round. We're going into the final exam. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The topic of today's final exam is to the rescue. Pretty sure everybody's done that. To the rescue and then run. I didn't ever say, but look, we can save this game right now, students, by getting all three of these right to the rescue. Everything's gonna have to do with rescuing or saving someone or something. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about this final exam topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. They're gonna work together and write down their answers during the commercial break. Students, you guys usually study for final exams? Yes. Yeah. Did you study for today's final exam? No. no. So be honest, do you usually study for final no, no, thank you, Cody. <laughs> Cody's answering say no, but he shows up and he's naturally smart. Look, guys, I'm going to give you these questions. Good luck to both sides. Here's question one. Final exam. What is the abbreviation for the emergency life-saving procedure performed when the heart stops beating, which involves chest compressions and mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing? Question two. To the rescue. Would you rescue me? Would you get my back? are the first lines in the 2019 song, Rescue Me, by what band? Finally, guys, look, rescue me with this final one here. What is the three-letter internationally recognized distress signal represented in the Morse code by three dots, three lines, and then three more dots, used especially by ships in trouble? There are your questions. Hope you guys know them. Each team's gonna have 60 seconds, and that's it to talk about these answers. Put them on their chalkboard. Cody, you're pretty tall, huh? We had to zoom up there on that camera. Will it be the students, or will it be their teachers? Who's gonna win this thing? I'm telling you, I'm excited to find out. Someone will be the winner here. When we come back from break, we'll crown that champion. Hey, before we go, you wanna get on season two of the classroom? Why not? Here's how you can be a part of it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today we have the students and teachers from Constitution High School going head to head. Teachers 160. Students, that was a huge last round for you, getting it within 100 points, which means you're only one question away from flipping the script on this and jumping in the lead there. So that was a big last round for you with music class. Uh, Aaliyah, you got some right answers right there. Are you a big music person? Yes, very. Do you sing? <laughs> no. Try it right now. Let's see how well you do. That was really good, Aaliyah. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> the topic of today's final exam is to the rescue. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Each correct answer they get right is going to be worth 100 points. Students are saying, we can do this. We can come back. Let's see how well they do. We got $500 on the line, teachers, and bragging rights back in those hallways. Let's do it. What is the abbreviation for the emergency life-saving procedure performed when the heart stops beating, which involves chest compressions and mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing? Let's start with our students. Ali, you gotta get this to stay in the game here. You said? CPR. Bam! CPR is right, 180. And look at that! We're in the lead! Teachers, did you say CPR? CPR. CPR, and you guys are keeping this game alive. Here we go, Mr. Flannelly. Have you ever had CPR? Have you ever given CPR? No and no. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Could you do CPR? Uh, yeah, it was part of faculty training, so yeah. You guys, I gotta be honest, I'm feeling a little lightheaded right now. <laughs> yeah, we were to keep her going, okay. Would you rescue me? Would you get my back? Are the first lines in the 2019 song, Rescue Me, by what band? All right, we're gonna start with our students. Cody, you said? One Republic. One Republic, okay, gets him back up to 280. Mr. Signs, you said? BTS. What a guess, B 
BTS. I'm digging that, guys. That was a trendy band, though. That was well done. All right, BTS, and how about this? Students, you just took the 20-point lead, and you are one question away from winning this thing. We'll see how well you do here. What is the three-letter internationally recognized distress signal? Represented in the Morse code by three dots, three lines, and three more dots, used especially by ships in trouble. Now, teachers, before we show our answers, if you guys hold them off and win this game, are we going to talk a little trash when we go back? A little. We're going to little that. And you're, listen, you're allowed to do that as the art teacher, especially after what you drew. That squirrel was phenomenal. Okay, we're going to reveal your answer. If you get this wrong, so get ready to rock. You said? Sorry. SOS. That's right. Gets her to 360. Let's just do it. Let's just rip the Band-Aid off. Students, you get this right. Get ready to rock. You're winning this thing and biggest comeback yes. ever. You said? SOS. Call the comeback. Throw one of these right at the camera. Let's see how well you do. Oh, now we'll work on it.